Interstitial or corneal portion of the fallopian tube is tortuous, about one to two centimeter in length, about 0 0.7 millimeter in diameter. There is a relatively thick segment of fallopian tube, which can expand and pregnancy prolong more than ordinary tube or pregnancy before rupture. How to diagnose? Diagnose is difficult by ultrasonography. We should sh show cogenic line between the gestational sac and the endometrial cavity. The sac is outside the cavity in the lateral aspect. This is called an interstitial line sign with empty uterine cavity. And we notice the gestational sac eccentrically located outside the endometrial cavity. This is the picture. This is endometrial cavity and this is the sac by transvaginal sonography. This is more obvious by 3D. This is the sac and this is the endometrial cavity. The sac is separated from the endometrial cavity. We should differentiate from angular pregnancy. Angular pregnancy implanted in the one with the lateral angle of the uterine cavity, medial to the uterine tubal junction. Uh, intraoperative, we can differentiate from them. The bulge of the pregnancy, if medial to round ligament is angular, if lateral to medial uh, round ligament, this is called interstitial pregnancy. And postoperative picture of specimen showing interstitial pregnancy option. And this is the picture. Treatment. <coughs> We try as possible to conserve, preserve uterus. First, um, we can use mystery state as a systemic or local manner. Success rate is high, more than 90% of kids uh, respond to mystery state. Me, second option, corneal resection. Other option, embolization. And last option, a radical option history. Future pregnancy, the patient, if we conserve uterus, should deliver by 